to Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> I had to. I had to. I had to. Um, and so I, I would love for you to introduce yourself. Who are you, darling? Who are you? I am Michelle Ojeda, Reiki Master, uh, Trapped Emotional Enlightenment. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. And, and we've been, uh, we were talking about what you do, you know, before we got on and mm -hmm. does it feel okay for us to go there right away? I, I know I want people to know like how we met and that type of thing, but I am so curious about what you do that. Does it feel okay for us to start there? Um, sure. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it will. And I'll just share that right before we pushed record, you were sharing more about um, the enlightening trapped emotions um, as a Reiki healer. I was just so intrigued. And so I, I'm curious if you want to share a little bit more about that. Yeah. So um, I kind of evolved. I was, you know, it was primarily just, I'm not going to say just Reiki because Reiki isn't just. So it, but my Reiki evolved. It evolved into kind of going after those trapped emotions. And I think it was a personal experience where we kind of would dive in and I would go into a meditative state and ask myself these questions. And then these emotions would start to surface. And so then uh, what do I do with these emotions? So um, kind of evolved into enlighten them. Let's just en enlighten the emotions and give it balance and give it um, form so they're not stuffed in the dark. So we open the door and allow them to be or be free, whatever needs to happen with those emotions. And so we do that with like a meditation and Reiki and some other modalities that whatever I'm called to include. And that's how I kind of started these um enlightened trapped emotions uh incredible. That's session incredible. yeah thank yeah. you and thank you so much for sharing I we were kind of bantering before we actually got on and I just felt to start there uh just to help everybody to get a little bit more information of of who who you are and what you do just right off the bat and we have been talking before we got on just um like us in VIP and like me being in your energy, but not being able to see you, see you, you know? So yeah. it's really fun just to be on the screen with you and, and to be almost like in real time. I'm like, yeah, what's it's up, Michelle? Really? Oh, Michelle, oh, Michelle, oh, that's what we, we call you in VIP. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, I'm, uh, would love to hear, would love to have you share with the audience, just like how you and I, what, what our start was, how we know each other. Um, so yeah, feel free. Uh I first met Heather before Heather met myself, and that was um, podcast. It was your podcast that kind of led me where I am now. So it was your podcast. Then I was called to do like an insight session with you, which was fantastic. From there, I was also just following my intuition to join VIP, and that was back in 2000 and uh, 2004. 21. Yeah. Um, so it's been about two years now, mm -hmm. but the amount of growth that I've done in those two years with the help of Heather and VIP, um, not only personal and spiritual growth, but also just huge business decisions that I've made to leave my career of 22 years to start on my spiritual business journey and honestly, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Heather and um, her support and her encouragement and uh, yeah, helping me to trust. And uh, it was a big one for me um, and trust in myself and spirit. So I would get these insights and I wasn't sure what to do with them about leaving my job. And I thought, there's no way I've been here 22 years with the help of Heather, it, you, you know, even your courses have helped me tap into that knowing. And then for like validation, I'd be like, Heather, I'm kind of getting this. And you're like, yep, yep. <laughs> I get it. So that was huge for me, but you know, it helped to empower myself. And that's exactly what VIP does for, for us all. 
Yeah, thank you. I'm I'm like so touched. I'm like, oh, and I, it's funny. I thought we had known each other for a few years. I thought that I was like, has it been a couple years? Like it's been, it's been, I think over, over two, I think at this point, like it's, you know, just from our time together and then you joining VIP and whatnot. And I love, I love being able to kind of reminisce. And I'm so glad to hear that. And, you know, I just remember getting into your energy the very first time. And I just thought there is so much more to her than what she's doing right now. Like it just felt that way. And I loved to be able to reflect that to you. And when you did it, when you were like, I put my notice in, I've been here for 22 years, I'm leaving my job. And I remember, I think you had said it on a VIP live. And I was like, oh my gosh, everyone, congratulations, because she just left her job to go into your business. And and I'm curious too, if, if you'd be able to share, like if this is a little off the cuff, but like, what was that like for you to make the leap? Like, what what was that? What did you experience? Mm. So not only did I experience, but what I'm still experiencing is mm. the exact thing that I think we're here to do is to explore and um, take, you know, chances and risks and be okay with failing uh, was a big one for me. Like, well, what if this doesn't work out? And um, I, I don't, I don't have no, it's been a year since I left my, my job and I started uh, my own business and with the help of Heather, but I would not still to this day, I would not turn back, but um, surrendering, surrender was huge, you know, and just knowing that I was going to be okay was a big one for me. Like everything was, uh, I would say peachy, right? I had a job. I liked it. I didn't think I, you know, there was a reason to leave. Um, it paid well. It was comfortable, right? And why, why would I leave? Well, now I know why. And I would never turn back. <laughs> That's incredible. So, That's incredible. Yeah. Well, and I just feel like you speak into some of the really important points of trust, surrender. And I loved what you just said about like, that's why we're here is to take risks and learn more about ourselves and, you know, be able to really, I feel like aligned to our life path. And that's what you're doing. And that and you were aligned before and now you're even more aligned. And it's neat too, to, for me anyway, to be able to see you and to see how you're serving the world like how you're showing up and serving the world which is just absolutely incredible incredible because I feel like in a lot of ways you are being able to kind of exponentially share your gift out there and I hope I hope in so many ways that you really do see your impact on people, Michelle. I'm just throwing that out there. I, I really hope that you're seeing that and you're witnessing that and, and taking that in. Uh, so yeah, and, and I'm glad that you're sharing this too because I feel like it's not quote unquote easy to just quit your job and then just be like, okay, I'm doing this, you know? It takes that trust, it takes that surrender, you know? So It does, um, yeah. And that, you know, getting out of that comfort zone where um, financially um, it was, filling the financial bank, but not my heart bank. Mm. So um, yeah, that has switched. And that has been huge for me. Um, just kind of leaving that and being okay with going and following my heart and listening to it. And, you know, it would, if it wasn't for the VIP group, I don't know that I would have done it. Honestly, I think I still would be there tiptoeing back and forth, but it was either all or nothing for me. Anyways. Good for you. Good <laughs> for you. I'm kind of teary because I just think you did it. You did it and you did it a year ago and here you are a year later, you know, and hey, look at you now, you know, and I love too that you said like filling up your heart pink. I just feel like that's a huge component of why we're here as well is to really serve from our heart or live from our heart, you know, which I love that you're doing that. I'm super intrigued if we can talk a little bit more about your business and about the enlightening trapped emotions. Cause this is almost like, is this a discovery that you made? Like it's, you said you meditated and then all of a sudden there was like emotions all of a sudden that you were noticing. I'd love to hear more about that. Like what, what happened? How did this come up for you? Um, I think I started noticing it in clients at first and it was right off the bat. Um, I think I mentioned to you earlier, uh, the first time I 
did Reiki networks years ago, I immediately felt emotions like, whoa, like I was waiting for, you know, feelings in the hands, you know, sensations. No, it went straight to the heart. And I'm like, whoa, what is this? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, what am I going to do with these emotions? So that's where it all started. And I didn't know quite what to do with the emotions. So then I started to have a dialogue during Reiki uh, with the client, um, not, a, not uh, mentally aware, talking to their emotions. And this is how I kind of came to this enlightenment where, yeah, sometimes they weren't ready to release those emotions. Those emotions still serve them in some way. So they couldn't be released just yet. And so uh, we came to the conclusion that we needed to kind of find balance, um, giving the client um, some ease from the emotion. And so that's how it kind of came. And so then, you know, we just started to call it enlightened, enlightening the emotion, just kind of opening the door because it's hidden. We trap it in our bodies, right? So, and it can affect us mentally, physically, emotionally. So we have them trapped all over our bodies and we just need to kind of open that door and give it a name um, for one and shed some light on it and, uh, you know, letting the body know we're aware because that's what the body does when we start having aches and pains is like, well, you're not paying attention to this emotion that you've stuffed 10 years ago. So I'm like, oh yes, let's open the door, shed some light and see if we can give it some balance. And so that's uh, kind of how it came about. Yeah. I love that. And I love as you're sharing this too, just mm -hmm. how it came about and also just witnessing like the depth that we all carry, like that's what's coming to me is almost just like we all carry emotions. I mean, obviously they're there for a reason and just the depth of these emotions. So just witnessing like these emotions and like you said, they're trapped and also that there's a purpose. And so I think it's really interesting as you're sharing this, it's almost like, and we talked about this before we came on Zoom as well. I think I had said like um, something about um, maybe transforming them or maybe clearing or something like that. And I loved what you said was, you know, we have this emotion for a reason. Sometimes we may not be able to clear it or transform it. And so with that, it may be something that it just needs enlightenment. It just needs light. And I loved what you said too. And, you know, you shared it here as well, but as we were talking before we came on was just that sometimes emotions just need balance. Like that's it. That's, that's all, you know? And mm -hmm. I just feel like, that's wonderful to have emotions, be able to have that balance and how let's say quote unquote simple to be able to do that. And it almost feels to me too, that a lot of times people he will go to healers because they want to get rid of stuff and sure. I mean, we do need to clear. And at the same time, what I love about what you bring forward is that you're bringing light to these emotions and they are trapped for a reason as well. There's something there, there's a story there, or there's something that needs to be brought to the light. And that's what you're able to do. So I love that. And it's interesting. I'm just going to ask a little bit more because you had said that you would meditate and then you would be able to get this information. And it sounds like the more and more you started doing Reiki, it's almost like you were in this somewhat maybe a meditative state or just being able to be with the client during that state of consciousness. And then you were able to really tap into what these emotions were. Is that, am I following that? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and I would get into that meditative state and then it was just um, a dialogue between the emotion and myself, which mm -hmm. was amazing. And so, and every emotion was different in that, um, you know, some weren't ready to be released completely, like you said. Uh, but when I would do it on myself, then I would start to practice um, on my own emotions, speaking to my own trapped emotions. And, you know, we have trapped emotions from all, you know, all different lives, all different um, phases in our lives. And so, there's always a new emotion that comes up that has something to share with me or um, that I'm ready to bring to the light. And so I think it's helped me, you know, just be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. 
And I feel too, like that's another reason why we're here is just to be right. We're human beings. <laughs> so yeah. I love that you bring that forward. And it's really neat too, that you share that you can do this on your own. Like you're doing this for yourself as well. You know, yes. you're having that dialogue with your emotions. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's a shocker. Like, uh, I think I mentioned just today, a new emotion came up and I thought, I didn't realize I felt that way about that situation. Like I had stuffed it down and it was kind of like I was just in the um, survival mode when that experience came up. Didn't even think about it, just kept moving forward. And then today, well, this one um, emotion was like, oh, what about me? And I brought tears to my eyes and I'm like, oh, my goodness, I didn't realize I felt that way about that situation. I was just in, you know, get it done mode, keep moving. <laughs> Which makes sense. Yeah. And I just, I feel too, like with that fight or flight or freeze, you know, yeah. or just looking at kind of some of the frozen like trauma capsules or time capsules that we carry, like it makes sense. And then to be able to come to it and really tend to it, bring awareness. And I feel too, like acknowledge, you know, this emotion. And, and it sounds like too, I think you had shared earlier something about even some of the thoughts that you didn't realize that there are some like thoughts, like kind of attached to those emotions. You're like, I didn't even think, I didn't realize I was thinking that, right? <laughs> yeah, which is so yeah. fascinating. Um, yeah. Yeah. And we were talking as well of almost like how much more we can find out from our body, like that we have this whole lifetime that we're learning about why we're here, what we're doing. So I love that. I love everything you're doing. It's awesome, Michelle. It's awesome. Great. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. I love yeah. it. So it's just so good to be in your energy. And I hope other people are feeling this as well. We're on Heighten Your Spiritual Connections. So we can't really see the audience, but I hope everyone can just feel um, your incredible energy through the screen. Um, but I would love to hear too, you know, what advice you would have for people that are wanting to move into their own business or just follow their heart, follow their passion. Um, you know, I would say, do the work, do the work. Mm -hmm. And um, doing the work doesn't mean you have to do it alone. And so I encourage people to reach out to groups like VIP. So what, you know, while doing the work, having that support system was huge for me. Um, I don't, like I said, I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for all the encouragement that you have given you know the VIPers and the support and um and just watching you in in you know the things that you've gone through and what you've made is is a huge um huge example of what we all can do um so do the work but uh, know that you don't have to do it alone um, join a support group and, um, and go easy on yourself. <laughs> That's, the other I like that. That's, really important. That's really important. Yeah. Well, I love that too, you know, and I just feel like you said, like, you got to do the work. And I, I think as well, it does, it doesn't come easy. I wish it did. I wish we could just snap our fingers and be there. I really do. <laughs> and right. so doing the work, just like you said, and having that supportive community, uh, it's been awesome to have you in VIP and it's been so neat to see how you have been able to really grow and move forward in how you want to move forward, like on your life path. And thank you for what you shared too, of just the example that I lead. I feel like I'm really humble in that. And so I really appreciate um, you bringing that forward. And I feel too, like we're a community, you know, I just think about VIP and it's almost like we're all sharing what we need to on our journey. And that support is so, so helpful. So I'm so glad you're there. Yay, yay, yay. Thank you, thank so thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope again that people are able just to feel your incredible energy. And I'd love to hear how people can get in touch. I think you were talking about your website and how are people able to get in your energy? Yeah, so uh, I do have a website and it's um, Natural Touch Healing. Um, is my website. Um, now my business name is a little different than my website name and that's Light Touch Healing, um, but you're more than welcome to visit me on either one. I am on Facebook on uh, Light Touch Healing as well. Um, but yeah, I would love to help anyone out that needs some assistance with uh, enlightening their emotions. I love that. Oh my gosh. I love it, love it, love it. And so people just go to your website and then they can schedule a session uh, or contact you and yeah can you say it again what are the different names 
So okay. it's light, uh, light touch healing okay. is my business name. Um, and then um, natural touch healing is my website. So it's okay. natural touch healing.com. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going there right after this. <laughs> I'm going there right after this. Awesome. Well, Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. And just thank you for serving from your heart. It's just absolutely beautiful. So definitely get into Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. O's energy. And, uh, you know, bring, I just feel like talking to the audience of just like bringing those trapped emotions to the light, allowing for that balance and just allowing, I feel too, for people to be able to get that deeper healing. So definitely reach out to Michelle. So awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's good to be with you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, you take care. Bye, Michelle. Bye -bye. See you. See you. <laughs>